guys, welcome back. I'm um, going to tie you a wee log style pattern. And this is a variation on Freddy Steele's octopus fly. Now, there's a wee bit to this fly. But I want to show you how to tie it. The hook and the vise is a Camazon B175 size 10. I'm going to start off using a Glow Bright Floss number 3. That's just, this forms part of the tag at the back. Now, I'm not going to start at the eye. I'm going to come down a couple of mil. Start the floss there. I'm just going to run the glow bright floss down until I'm in line with the barb of the hook and then come in and remove the, the waist tag. Now there's a wee gold tag at the back and to form that I'm going to use the uni mailer uh, gold and silver in size 10. Now I want the gold side so I'm going to tie it on with the silver side. Just facing up, come round the bend a couple of mil, and then bring the thread back up, or the floss, sorry, back up into position. Now you gotta protect this, so I'm just gonna come in here, put on a wee dab of super glue onto the tag, or onto the floss, and then wind up the main R with the top. Now you're looking three turns of the uni main R up to there and then just folly this over with the floss and you're just looking to create a, another part of the tag with the floss at this stage right, that's enough just come in and trim away the excess of the uniminator then we're going to come in and whip finish Feel the floss tight come in trim away the floss the thread we're going to use to tie the fly is uni thread 80 in red. Now you could have created the tag with the red floss, it's just that the glow bright floss is just a wee bit brighter. It's not as deep as red as the the thread we're using here. Now just bringing the thread down, tie it up against our tag. Get our scissors again, come in and remove the waste part of the thread. The tail is around about 10 strands or so of glow bright floss number 11. Now that's the, the strands there and you just come in and trim that. And you can just brush this out with an old toothbrush or your, you've got Falco or a dub and brush. You can brush that out just to loosen the fibers up a wee bit. So we're just going to offer this over the back of the hook. Around with a pinch and loop, a couple of tight turns. Now, gotta leave yourself plenty of room at the front here, guys. Two body haggles, a wing, and a further haggle. Then just come in and trim the tail. You want the tail on these wee flies short, but you can trim it to the length that you like. It's up to you. The rib of the fly is an open mirage tinsel in medium. So, just gonna get a, a length of our open mirage off. Just offer this up to the hook and then just work your thread up tying these two materials in. Now you don't need to be too fussy. The body's going to be dubbed. Just concentrate on tying these in and then work your thread back down tied up against our, our tail here. Get that opal mirage out of the way. The dubbing is a traditional Irish dubbing and that's this here this is the golden olive great stuff I've got seals, golden olive seals further you can use that but this is just a wee bit brighter so we'll just take our traditional Irish dubbing and you're just small pinches you're dubbing at a time just dub it on Always remember to work your dubbing the one way. Don't be dancing on the spot with it, meaning going back and forward like that. It won't be adhered to the thread. Always the one way. And you can always tighten up once you get it on to the, the hook if you feel it needs to be tightened. Now, just gonna, where you go, it needs to be tightened there, so just tighten up on it. 
I'm just going to work this up the full length of the body. Anything that's going forward, just sweep it back. Just bring my thread in front here. Now there's two body hackles on the fly. On the original pattern, it was a golden olive cock saddle hackle and then a yellow. I'm going to use a barred ginger. Matt's grade 2. This is dyed uh, golden olive. Just going to be hackle off here for us. And then a cock saddle hackle dyed yellow. Now, whatever, what shackle you want to put in front is entirely up to you. It's your fly. I'm going to go with the, the barred ginger haggle in the front, just removing the rubbish from the bottom. And then I just come in, pull out the stems, pull out the fibres from the stems, sorry, and then just tear those away. Offer this up to the hook. Come around with nice tight turns because there are two haggles. Just want to make sure, just always like to make sure that they're well tied in. And then we're going to polymer these down the body. Now I'm going to get two turns going at the shoulder of the fly, I mean on the top of the body here, and then just two turns down the body. It's plenty. Now keeping a hold here, tips here, haggle around with your opal mirage tinsel. Now you will catch fibres here but you're just looking four turns of the opal mirage tinsel up the body. Anything that's going forward just sweep it back. Bring the opal mirage tinsel up in front. Follow it around with your thread and then just get tight turns in to tie in the opal mirage tinsel. Don't worry about any hackle fibres at this point. Tiny that up in a second. Just going to get rid of the open mirage and then come in and trim away the tips of the stems of the hackle at the back. Anything that's going forward to the eye here, just come in, sweep it back, bring the thread to the eye, and then nice and tight back up against the two hackles. Now, we're not looking too bad. You may have caught a few of the fibres in, so you can just come in with your Velcro or your dubbing brush and just bring out any of the fibres that you may have caught. The wing is going to be deer hair dyed chartreuse. Now, you only want a small amount of this stuff, you don't want to go nuts with the wing. In the original pattern, it was bleached coastal deer. Now, I'm just going to clean that hair out. Pop it into our stagger. Give this a rattle on the desk. All the tips have lined up for us. Take it out of the hair stagger. Now before I tie this in, I'm just going to put on a wee lick of wax onto my thread. Because it will does at times have a tendency to slip. Now you want you can have your wing as long or short as you like. It's entirely up to you. It's your, it's your fly, you're gonna tie it. So I'm just gonna offer my deer her up with the tips. Sort of way coming back to the, the end of the tail. Just come in and pinch this. Right with the pinching loop. Nice tight turns there just to tie in the deer her. Just lift everything up at this point, just because we want to get a a nice clean cut if we can on the deer hair. Trim this away. You favor around the far side. Now, just come in again. Don't touch your thread first if you're going to do this. Just come in, hold your deer hair, tighten up with the thread turns, bring my thread to the eye, and just building it up over. The cut ends of the deer hair. Now the deer hair will set up a wee bit for you at the start, but that's that's fine. That's just the way that's gonna gonna work for you. The last hackle at the front. This is just a red brass feather of the golden pheasant. So just take away the rubbish from the bottom, and then we're just gonna stroke back the 
the fibres to reveal the tip. Offer this up to the hook. Come around with a couple of turns. Fold the stem of the hackle back. And bring the thread back up. Over the tip of the hackle and the stem. At this point just slide your fingers back. The tip of the hackle will come out. Come in and break that away. And you're probably only going to get one turn out of these wee hackles. Now you can have the hackle at the front here really long. You don't have to have it as short as I'm going to have it here. You can have it longer than that. It's just basically the way that you like to tie them. This type of fly. And then fish it up to there. Don't worry about anything else that's going forward at this time. Just come in with your thread. Catch in the stem. Nice and tight. Come in. Trim away the stem. The golden pheasant. At this point, sweep everything back. Bring your thread to the eye. And just build up your head. At this point now. Keep your thread tight. So always keep your thread tight. Don't let it go slack. Because everything will just unravel at this point. Now, still keeping the, the thread tight. Just come in with your whip finishing tool. Sweep everything back. I'm just going to tidy the head up at this point. Just putting a bit of shape into it. And then pull your thread nice and tight. Come in, trim away your tying thread. Now there's a wee bit to the fly, but this is an excellent pattern. Honestly, a great fly to have in your box. Especially if you face the, the big Irish logs. Now just to finish off, a wee drop of clear varnish. Under the head. Now I'll probably put two coats varnish on right the whole way right round just to give us a nice bright head just to get a bit of waste wire on my desk make sure that the eye is clean it's nothing worse when you get out and trying to put your fly on the leader it's blocked up with varnish it's happened to me before many a time and there you go so that's just a variation on uh, Freddy Steele's Octopus fly. So are we? Or is its brother the heard it? So tie a few of those up, guys. We face the log. Hopefully, then catch a few fish. As always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. I really appreciate it. If you like the wee videos I'm putting together, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Helps the wee channel out. And until next time, folks, stay safe and take lines.